There's nothing wrong with looking like a runner, but doesn't mean you're def definitely blah. Fuck. I have to redo that whole thing. Um, pause. Three, two, one. What's up guys, Hunter McIntyre here, and as you know, my team and I are always looking to do bigger and better things out there. Uh, earlier this year, we went out and tested ourselves by running a marathon within a week's training. And I was inspired by Nick Bear. He's an incredible guy, incredible athlete. Uh, both of us broke the three hour mark, and I thought to myself, you know, I love the idea when they looked at that two hour barrier, and that's what Nike was really pushing for. And myself, I'm a totally different athlete than those guys. I weigh right now 210 pounds. I've spent a lot of my life doing lifting and functional fitness, strongman type competitions, but I've always loved running. That's kind of where I was born into. I've been an endurance athlete my entire life, but I didn't want to be put into that little box of if you run, you're tiny. And I think a lot of people who are watching this channel right now are probably thinking the same thing. You love the sport of running, but you are not trying to look like a runner. And runners are typically skinny, they're tall, they're lean. It doesn't really matter what you look like, uh, but the idea of being a runner shouldn't always be defined by skinny. I think being a runner, you can be any size, and that's the whole point of this project. We're calling this project the Clydesdale Project, and our goal is, as a team, is to above 200 pounds, which would be me, breaking the two hour and 30 minute marathon mark. Our goal is going to be going to Berlin Marathon, Chicago Marathon, uh, obviously if COVID allows it, and we are gonna do our very best to break this barrier. Uh, obviously 30 minutes behind what the world record is, but if you look at somebody like Kipchoge, he's probably around 125 to 135 pounds. I will be racing about 70 pounds heavier than him on my race day. And I'm gonna bring in a lot of cool information like what the difference of power output that I have to produce to be able to run that compared to somebody like his weight, the amount of calories that I'm gonna be having to eat to be able to keep my weight up, the amount of running that I'm gonna be having to do that's specific to my size rather than the size of an athlete like that. Like we're gonna be incorporating a lot of biking, a lot of other cross training. Another factor of this is I'm going to be training for high rocks the entire time because that's still my primary sport, uh, but I definitely wanna have this as my own passion project. I'm never gonna be a professional marathon runner, uh, but I can still run like a professional runner. And I don't want the size to be a defining factor. I want people by the end of this to see that if I can break this barrier, that you can break that barrier. And Clydesdale marathoning used to be big, and I think it kind of lost its luster. And I'm gonna bring it back. Like, I think the big runner is coming back, and I wanna be one of the forefront, uh, people on the forefront of it all. So, my team and I, over the next, Look what we got now. We're gonna be working into May, June, July, August, September. We basically have five months right now to get ready if we're gonna do Berlin, six months if we're gonna do Chicago. If neither of those things happen, we might be going for CIM, which is gonna be in December. So, you know, it's all up in the air, but we're putting the training in now. I partnered with Ryan Hall. He and I both uh, worked together on uh, Dick Sporting Goods campaign. If you don't know who Ryan Hall is, you should probably Google or YouTube them because it's gonna be a lot of fun to get your own version of witnessing it rather than me telling you. But just to let you guys know right now, he holds the American record in the marathon and the half marathon. He basically was one of the fastest people on the planet and still is one of the fastest people on the planet. But the reason why I thought it was such an interesting idea to partner with him is because he's made this entire transformation in his life. He used to be you know, that 130 pound runner like I was telling you about running up to 200 miles a week. And now he's a bodybuilding, functional fitness athlete who weighs nearly 200 pounds, can deadlift 405, 12 times. Like he's a total beast. Something you would never imagine an athlete of this nature could do. He transformed his body and he knows what it's like to be a big athlete and also have to be able to run a big time for a marathon. So his knowledge is gonna be better than I think anybody in this sphere to be able to help me get to my place. And I'll admit, I will always go after the best information possible if I want to get something done. I contact the best coaches, I contact the best athletes, and this is the guy right now that I trust the most. And I hopefully that 
Hopefully both of our partnerships together is going to bring incredible results. It's going to bring incredible knowledge to people who are watching. And what I want you guys to do is, you know, stay tuned, ask any question in the comments below what you want to find out about this because I'm going to be learning at the same time you are. Uh, I would love to share any kind of information. If you ask, I will do my best to tell. And uh, it's going to be an incredible experience. You know, we've got months to build on this, but uh, it's going to fly by. It's going to be incredible. And there's going to be a lot of fun stuff happening between now and then. So stay tuned for it all. And I look forward to, you know, breaking the goal with you guys. So, you know, thank you for your support and thanks for watching.